going big picture, first of all, all the battles that you had against the Warriors uh, over the years and just the, this one getting to six games, having your most efficient game in game six. So what has that journey been like for you and, and what's the feeling of, of getting the job done this time? Uh, first of all, nothing but my utmost respect for uh, their organization. Um, but as far as the players, it's, you know, Steph, Draymond, and Clay. Those are the guys I've had the most battles with. Those are the guys that, I, that I've been in a foxhole with, in a war, I'm sorry, with or against, and uh, nothing but respect um, uh, for them. Uh, obviously for the franchise as well. And uh, for us as a franchise, I mean, it's, you know, tonight in general, it was, it was uh, great to be able to play one of our most efficient games, one of our best games of the series. And, um, and, and it started because of the defensive matchup that we had. Uh, we defended at a high level, and, and when we do that, then we can be um, extremely, uh, extremely good. And I thought we was locked in as, as close to 40 minutes as possible tonight. Dave. LeBron, you've uh, mentioned the phrase comfortable being uncomfortable for years, and now it's something that a mantra that you kind of reflect on. How did you have to embody it this season, starting off 2-10, uh, to get to this point to be in the Western Conference Finals? Uh, you just try to be patient. You know, let uh, let the man above do what he's gonna do. You know, um, you know. I felt like um, if we were ever gonna be, um, if we ever had an opportunity to, you know, upgrade our roster, um, you know, put some more balance around myself and AD, then I felt like we can make a run. Um, I felt like we can make a push. Um, you know, throughout the rest of the regular season, um, and then going into the postseason. Um, and uh, you know, uh, Rob in the front office, they. You know they did that. They did that, and then it was up. You know, it's up to me and AD to to come through on, you know, the moves that they made, and um, you know, also you know, staying healthy, you know, which we wasn't as healthy as we would like to be, but you know, we still played good basketball after the break, and it put us in a position to be able to get in a playing game, um, and then playing a, a couple playoff series so far. Dan, AD, uh, two for you, one. Um, we didn't talk to you. Uh, after game five, um, how did you feel post game? Were you concerned ever that tonight would be at, at risk for you? No. How'd you feel? Fine. <laughs> and, and then, uh, secondly, um, Austin's hit a bunch of big shots for you guys through the course of this season. How big was not only the, the one at, at right before half, but then? the quick one in the third off the offensive rebound for, for, for you guys in this game. And what does that say about him in these moments as a second-year player and first time through this? Yeah, uh, we have a lot of confidence in Austin. He has a lot of confidence in himself. Um, you know, he wants to take big shots. He makes big shots. Uh, coach always tells us, um, you know, a lot of guys try to not mess up their percentage and not shoot it. Um, but he always tells us, let it go, because you never know what happens. And, you know, tonight he ended up making it. But, uh, you know, he hit some timely buckets for us. Um, and not just tonight, but th throughout the course of the series and, um, you know, last series and throughout the course of the season. So, um, you know, he found his groove. Uh, he's playing well. We definitely want to the next series as well. Yovan. I know you guys got a, a few days to prepare, but what, what are your early thoughts on the matchup with Denver? Um, I mean, they've, they've been the number one team in the West for a reason. Um, you know, and they've played exceptional basketball all year. And uh, we're going with the utmost respect for their, for their ball club. Very well coached. And obviously, we know the dynamic um, of, of what Joker brings to the game and also Jamal Murray um, being back fully healthy and, and the rest of those guys. Um, you know, so, you know, uh, you know tomorrow is a, a day for us to kind of get away from the game a little bit. Um, you know, just kind of chill with our families and, and kind of recoup a little bit. But, um, Sunday and Monday, and then part of Tuesday before the game start, we will, we will lock in on what we need to do to to try to um, you know be our be, be at our best versus a, a very good um, a very very good uh, well coached team. So I look forward to it when the kids here. BT, AD, what do you recall about the last time you guys faced Denver in the bubble in that conference finals in 2020? Uh, it's hard to say just because they're a different team. Uh, we're a different team. Um, you know, I think uh, the the biggest thing for us was obviously having Dwight kind of disrupt Jokic a little bit. Um, you know, he's obviously one of the two guys that kind of get them going, him and Jamal Murray. 
Uh, and actually, it's funny that me and Braun talked about it earlier about going back, watching that series, and kind of see what we did to kind of figure out how we can um, best match up and, and get victories over them. So, uh, you know, we'll go back and look at it. But um, I think the biggest key was just kind of just make the ball, find the guys we want to find, um, and just play off of that. Nikki? That was one game, though. I hope they don't find me. <laughs> I hope I get another one this series. <laughs> LeBron, you found ways to conserve your energy throughout the course of a game, but with this series, big picture, were you able, when you looked at how you thought it was going to play out, were you able to conserve your energy throughout these games to have the impact you did tonight in game six? Uh, I mean, it may have looked like I was conserving my energy, but uh, I mean, I was dead tired after every one of them games. And it's the same with tonight, you know. Um, you don't, you do, really don't have the opportunity to conserve your energy versus a Golden State team because they always keep you on your heels. You always have to understand and know that, you know, anytime you relax, they'll make you pay. <clears throat> so, you know, it, um, you know, for me tonight, I was just uh, felt pretty good about my game, um, like I do every night, um, and I just wanted to try to come in and, you know, make some plays and, and, and be efficient. And, Defend at a high level, help AD rebound, um, help our team, um, you know, make winning plays, and I was able to make a few of them. Last three, uh, we'll go Kurt, um, Jim, and Helene. To either one of you guys, LeBron, you talked about how you guys upgraded the roster. When Rob Palinka in the front office flipped this roster, um, how did, and you look back to where you are right now, why did it work? Um, well, it gave us a lot of, I mean, it gave us a lot of shooting, obviously, you know, with, uh, with, with D'Lo and, and Bees, you know, and, you know, and Mo, and Mo Bamba when we got there, it gave us a lot of shooting, a lot of space um, to, to, to be around myself and AD. Uh, we play on the perimeter, but we're not like three-point shooters. Um, you know, I know I take my fair share, and, um, but, you know, when you have that, you know, that space, it allows us to do what we do best and kind of, you know, play downhill, but also it just gave a Gave us, gave us a lot of depth. It gave us a lot of depth. Um, you know, it gave us another ball handler um, and, and D-Lo at the time to take, take some pressure off DS and take some pressure off AR at times. And even myself, it gives us a, gives us a lot of uh, you know, length when we added Rui and added Vando. You know, so you know we were very small early in the season. You know, so. We would get stops, but our rebounding was very difficult and challenging for us. So now, with the length that we had, we, we was able to, um, you know, rebound a lot better. You know, and um, and then I think the guys that came in, they just they just came in with no um, no expectations. They just came in and say, okay, well, let's figure this thing out. You know, and from from my point of view, a lot of them games, I mean, from four and a half weeks, I was sitting, I was out because of my foot injury, and I was just watching and seeing, you know, um, how could I be better. You know, how can I, you know, once I come back, how can I, you know, put myself in a position to help this team continue to, to continue to thrive but like they were doing. And uh, I just got super excited, probably seeing a lot of my tweets when I was not playing. And I was just super excited about the games and being played and um, I couldn't wait to get back. So, I mean, it's a lot more, but that's the, that's the cliff notes of it. Last two. Hey, LeBron, do you guys feel like you're playing with house money at this point? What does that mean? Well, I, I mean, mean, I know what it means. As, as, far, as, as far as expectations from, from the outside. Nah. <laughs> as Vanda will say, nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. 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 Nah, we're trying to win every hand. We're trying to win every hand. That's your expectation, our expectation yeah, yeah, inside. Yeah, 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 yeah. nah. They hired it, you know, um, showing up oh. to the West Coast Finals. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I did want to ask about the rebounding tonight and also whether you were, were you focused on rebounding tonight and at any point did you feel hesitant or did you feel okay the whole time? Uh, no, I feel fine. Uh, the times that they beat us, you know, they got a lot of offensive rebounds and uh, kicking out to four threes um, or getting, you know, second chance points. So I uh, just wanted to have emphasis on rebounding basketball and limit their uh, offensive rebounding. Uh, they got a couple. Uh, but I just wanted to make sure that I did my part in, you know, trying to get every rebound possible um, on both ends on the floor, but mainly defensively to limit them from those second chance points where they're most deadly. Thanks, fellas.